Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. Today I'm creating this really pretty, like, soft, glam, flirty, sexy, Valentine's Day look with some soft pink and a bright fuchsia lip. So if you guys want to see what I used, how I created this, you want to get some Valentine's makeup inspo, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's just jump into the video. Alright, I'm going to start by pulling my hair back, getting it clipped out of the way. So it is not in my way. All right, she clipped up, it's out of the way. Now we have full on access to the face. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a Valentine's look. I think I wanna do something kind of soft, glam, pretty. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going with this look, but I do kind of have an idea in my mind. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the foundation. I have already prepped and primed and gotten my skin ready to go. So I think we're gonna use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I love this foundation. It is an oldie, but a goodie. It has such full coverage and a little goes such a long way. I use like one and a half pumps and it covers my entire face. Like look how much coverage that gives. I use the shade Fair which I believe is the lightest shade. Could be wrong about that now. I don't actually, I feel like when I first got shade matched several years ago, it was the lightest shade. Maybe they've, uh, you know, expanded their shade range since then. I honestly, I don't, I don't know. I never pay attention now because I just know that this is my shade. And I do prefer this foundation with a beauty sponge. Um, I don't mind it with the brush, but I feel like you get a little better coverage. It looks a little more natural and melted into the skin when you use the sponge. Plus, I feel like the brush always ends up absorbing way more of the foundation and I have to use more, so the sponge is just the way I go. Now for concealer, I recently started using this one again. I pulled it out of the drawer and I actually remembered how much I really liked it. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. And I use the shade 20NN. Um, I probably got this concealer... Oh gosh. A uh, long time ago. And um, I used it for quite a while. But I always end up going back to my shape tape. Because I am a shape tape stan. But... I, um, yeah, like I said, I recently pulled this one out of the drawer and kind of remembered how much I actually really like this concealer. And the great thing about the Stay Naked line is they're supposed to be transfer proof. Now, I tried the foundation and the concealer, and, um, honestly, I think that the Anastasia Luminous foundation is a little more transfer proof than the, uh, Stay Naked foundation, but... The CC Cream Foundation is not transfer proof and wearing this concealer with the foundation does help the foundation and stuff on my nose last a little bit longer. Uh, it doesn't come off near as much when I'm wearing a mask and stuff. So uh, if you guys are looking for a good combination, this combination with a good uh, mattifying, gripping primer is a really, really, really good combination. Still probably not quite white as good as the Anastasia foundation. That stuff is phenomenal. It doesn't even claim that it's transfer proof, but it works so well. And it's not just me. I've talked to some of the girls at Ulta and they say the same thing. So it's not just me. I'm not the only one that feels that way. All right, now that I have that blended out, I'm gonna grab a baking powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have pretty much been using this powder every day since I got it. Which if you watch that video, then you know I got this only like a month or so ago because I 
just never wanted to spend the money on it because it's so expensive. Although everyone has raved about this for years and years. It's just, it's pricey and I love my Cody and I don't know, I've always found cheaper ones. So I've always just had a really hard time wanting to spend the money on it. But I had some gift cards from the holidays. So I decided, you know what? Let's step up. Let's let's try it out. And it is a really, really nice setting powder. I understand the hype. So I am baking my under eye, my nose, which helps with the uh, transfer proof, helps the makeup really set on the nose, keeps it from moving. Uh, the other reason I set the nose is because my makeup tends to settle in the crease around the side of my nose. And then I'm also settling, settling, no, setting my smile lines to keep it from settling in there. And then I also get a little bit of settling in this chin crease. So I'm gonna set my chin. And also if you're wearing a mask, it'll help set that in. And then I've been getting um, some forehead creases above my brows a little more and more. And so the makeup kind of likes to settle in those creases as well. And since this is Valentine's Day, we want to look as nice as possible. I want to keep those creases from really popping up. I'm just going to go ahead and set those as well. Kind of bake those bad boys. Now, while all that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and throw on my brows. I have been loving the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. And I've been using the shade Latte. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those on off camera. And I will be right back. Now that my brows are on, let's jump into the eyes. I have been loving this palette. It is so beautiful. This is the Tartlet Fall Bloom Palette. I love Tarte shadows to begin with, and this palette is just so freaking stunning. Like, look at that. They're shadows upon shadows of beautiful, gorgeous tones and pigment. So, I still am so slightly undecided at what I want to do. So we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna jump in. To start off, because I'm kind of back in the swing of doing this, we're gonna jump into this nice creamy vanilla shade called Magnolia. Yeah, Magnolia. We're gonna buff out those creases. Just gonna use my finger, and then I'm gonna set the whole lid down with that nice creamy vanilla shade. Now I want to jump into this nice medium brown tone called Optimistic. And I'm going to use this as my crease shade. I always like to start with a nice crease shade, especially when I don't know what I'm doing. When I don't have a direction or know for sure where I'm going to go, what I want the look to look like. Starting with a nice and soft neutral shade in the crease. It's just a good place to start. So you can always just go in any direction. You can warm it up, you can cool it down, you can really build some depth off of it. Now I wanna take this nice warm dark brown called Generous and I am going to work that um, kind of in the outer half of the V, kind of like I'd like to do. To start building some depth. And I'm gonna bring it in probably about halfway. I keep looking at the clock. I have this analog clock over on the desk over there, the table. And a couple days ago, the batteries went out in it. So it says it's 3.40, which is probably close to the accurate time, except for it said that for a few days now. So I know that's not really the time. <laughs> but I keep looking at it to check the time, to see what time it is. And then I remember, oh yeah, I need to change the batteries in the clock, but I literally don't remember that I need to do that except for when I'm in here doing my makeup or filming a video. <laughs> so now I'm just taking a good blending brush and softening up the edges of that dark brown, smoking it out, blending it into that first crease color. So I kind of want to add just a little bit of pink over top. So I'm going to take this really pretty shade called Peony. 
really pretty pink. And I'm just going to kind of buff that over the whole thing, right in the crease there. Just going to kind of give the whole thing a nice pink hue to it. So what is everyone doing for Valentine's Day? Comment down below and let me know. It's on a, I think a Monday this year. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, we are, both my husband and I work. I will be in the salon that day. So I don't think I will, um, I don't think I'll be doing a whole lot. Probably, I, I get off before him. Um, I'll probably get out of the salon about 5.30, 6 o'clock, so I'll probably come home, make us a nice dinner, and then I don't know what we're going to do. When my husband gets home, we'll probably watch a movie, or I don't know, just spend the evening together is probably what we'll do. Nothing too crazy. We might go out to celebrate for dinner on like Friday or something. Uh, next week after Valentine's Day because that's our day off together is Friday, so Yeah, I don't know. We'll see um, But what are you guys doing? Let me know because it's always nice to hear what other people's plans are Especially because I feel like We either do nothing or we go to the same restaurant like We kind of have the same like date night and holiday like Valentine's Day rut. So yeah, let me know what your guys' plan is. I think now I want to take this really pretty warm toned shimmer. It's kind of a mix between a pink and a bronze. I think I want to take that and I want to pop that on the lid. It's kind of like a rose gold champagne color I guess would be a a rose gold. Honestly, that's probably the best way to describe it. Really pretty rose gold. I feel like when I popped that pink on the uh, crease, it did kind of diminish a little bit of that darker color. Color? Why did I say it like that? I don't even know. <laughs> darker color. So I might go back over that just a little bit just to add a little back in. But I do like how it added that slight pink um, look to it. I like that. I think that's very pretty. I think I want to get crazy today, though, and add a winged liner. I haven't done a winged liner in a long time. And every time I think about it, I talk myself out of it because I haven't done one in so long. I don't want to screw up the eye look, but I think it would be fun to do it. So let me dig through my drawer and find one. Not a winged liner, but a, a liquid eyeliner. I know I have several. I just have to find which one's the best one to use. Which one's not all dried up. This Kat Von D one has a weird lid. Like it's almost spring loaded. So I think I'm going to use the Stila one. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to attempt to throw on a winged liner. I'm going to do it off camera because like I said, it's been so long since I've done one. I don't want to waste your time. So I will be right back with a nice winged liner and yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so they're not perfect, but actually I'm kind of happy with them. And I tried that trick where you open up your eye and draw it that way. So when you close it, it looks a little funky, but it looks more, you know, cohesive when you open your eye. So they're kind of large, but I, I kind of like them. I think it's a little seductive and fun and flirty for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you think. Do you like the wing liner? I, I honestly don't hate it. Like I said, I haven't done them in so long. I was really, really worried about it. So, okay, let's go ahead and finish up the skin before we throw on lashes. I don't like doing my lashes before I finish the powders because I hate getting powder and stuff on the lashes. I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder, and I am in the shade Porcelain. So I'm going to sweep away the uh, under eye baking and my nose and go ahead and set my skin. 
and to bronze up because we're looking a little matte I'm gonna use the Hoola bronzer from Benefit this is just one of my OG faves I love 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 how this bronzer looks going to sculpt us out some cheekbones since I really don't have any. <coughs> I just inhaled some bronzer into my lungs. Oh. Have you guys seen this new trend that's been going around where they put the daub of like liquid bronzer or dark concealer right in like their hollows of their cheeks? and blend that and it creates like the perfect cheekbone lift. I really want to try it. Maybe we'll do a video soon trying that out because it looks like so perfect and it honestly looks pretty easy and everybody just looks so great when they do it. So I'm very, very intrigued. I think the first people I saw do it was uh, KVD's Instagram. They were advertising the new Good Apple Concealer. And I really want to try it. Also, really kind of want to try the concealer. I never tried the Good Apple Foundation because when it was super popular and it was trending and everybody was trying it, it was never available in my shade. At least not online or in my store. So, uh, yeah. And then by the time it was available, nobody was talking about it anymore. I think a really cute, like, really pink blush would be really pretty. I have been loving this one. This is Charmed from Tarte. This is one of the Amazonian clay blushes. I love these blushes as well. This one came in that um, holiday set, although I don't actually think it was a holiday set. I think it was just one of the sets that they were selling. And it came out just before the holidays. They might still be selling it. I don't know. Anyways, I am just going to pop that on the cheekbones. And a lot of times I like to do a really cutesy, blushy, you know, cheek and nose. I think I'm just going to kind of pop it on the uh, outer portion of the cheekbones today. We're not going to get real crazy with it. I just think this color would look really pretty with the uh, eye look. So, so like that and then for highlights i'm gonna use the jaclyn hill iced highlight i've actually really been liking this one and it's like the perfect combination of cool tone with a little bit of warm in it like super duper pretty so we're gonna use this one Now I need to quickly throw in an inner corner highlight, so I'm just going to jump into my Too Faced Hot Butter Brown Palette and grab Whipped Cream, the really bright white shimmery shade. Pop that in the inner corner. And now it is time to spray my face down. Set it all in. You want to use a good setting spray for Valentine's Day. This is a great, great one. It makes your skin look really, really natural. It melts that makeup in, keeps it locked in place, but it doesn't make you feel dry or crusty. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. It's a great setting spray for a long evening where you want it to look good. Okay, so I'm just gonna tidy up my brow hairs because they always get a little wild during all the powders and such. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes. I'm gonna do that off camera and we'll come back, throw on a lip and finish off this look together. Don't mind that I got a little bit of lash glue drying but the eye look so pretty, that winged liner with those lashes, just like chef's kiss, beautiful. So for lip, I have this lipstick or lip gloss. I don't actually know what it is. Um, it's a lip gloss, okay. It's what I thought it was and I wasn't sure. It's lip gloss, it's from Mary Kay of all places. My grandma is a Mary Kay consultant. Uh, she gave this to me quite a while back, like 
a year or so ago probably. It's this really gorgeous fuchsia shimmery lip gloss and I just think this would be stunning for Valentine's Day. Like, I don't know, I just think it would be really, really pretty. Like, don't you guys think that would be really pretty? So I, I don't know, I've just really been wanting to use it and I thought, you know, that'd be perfect for Valentine's looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bad boy on my lips. That is so pretty, I love that. See, I thought that would be gorgeous. With that neutral lid with just like the pop of pink, that bright fuchsia pink lip. I think it looks pretty with the contrast of the soft, more bubblegum pink sweater. Like all of this I think looks really, really pretty. Uh, I'm here for it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.